Hello everyone. Today we'll be discussing the poly X, Y, and Z gates. First, we'll see the math behind these gates and then implement them using Qiskit. These gates are single qubit gates, meaning they work on a single qubit. These gates transform a qubit from one state to another. That is, it evolves the state of a qubit. First, we'll be discussing about the X gate, which is also known as the bit flip gate. X gate is represented as 0, 1, and 1, 0 in its matrix form. It takes a state 0 and transforms it into a state 1. It takes state 1 and transforms it into state 0. It takes an arbitrary state, which is a superposition of both 0 and 1, as A is 8, 0, and B1 to B and A. So it will give you B0 plus A1. Now let's see the poly Z gate. This is also known as a phase flip gate. The matrix representation of the poly Z gate is given as 1, 0, and 0, minus 1. The poly Z gate takes the state 0 and does nothing to the state. It takes the state 1 and transforms it into a state minus 1. It takes the state, which is superposition of both 0 and 1, given by A times 0 plus B times 1, to A times 0 and minus B times 1. The phase got flipped. That is why it is known as a phase flip gate. Now let's see the Y gate. Y gate is represented as 0, minus i, i and 0. It takes the state 0 to 0 and i. It takes the state 1 to minus i and 0. It takes the arbitrary state, which is superposition of both state 0 and state 1, which is a and b, to i times minus b and a. This is the poly Y gate. Now let us see how to implement the poly XYZ gates in Qiskit. First, we'll import the Qiskit's quantum circuit and state vector. And then we'll define a quantum circuit QC with one qubit. So it is done using QC equals to quantum circuit of one. And then to see how the state evolves, we'll be using the state vector. So state is equal to state vector from instruction of QC. And then we'll draw the latex representation of the state. We can either draw the latex representation or the text representation or a block sphere representation. For now, we'll take the latest latex representation. It is done using state dot draw, and then you can specify whatever you want. You can specify latex text or else block. So we can see that whenever we initialize a circuit, we see that all the qubits are set to the zero state. Now we can apply an X gate using our quantum circuit dot X. The quantum circuit, we named it as QC. So QC dot X of what uh, this number can be a range that is a list of numbers or it can be a list or the index of the qubit on which you want to apply the X gate. So I want to apply the X gate on the zeroth qubit, which is the first qubit. Our circuit has only one qubit and it is at zero index. So we apply QC dot X of zero and then the same thing, state is equal to state vector from instruction QC. And then we can see that the state vector evolved from zero to state vector one. So X gate does a bit flip. It takes the state zero to state one. Same for the Z gate. You can apply the Z gate using dot Z and then the qubits index. And then you can see how the state evolves using the state dot draw latex method or block sphere. The same is for Y. Here is a block sphere representation. You just need to specify latex or text or block. Thank you.